Welcome to the Pastoral Touchpoint Show, bringing you everything you need to know, featuring Joe and Mo. All right, that's enough. Let's go. Welcome to Pastoral Touchpoints, Season 2, Episode... No idea. We don't even know anymore. I'm going to guess six. Sounds good. All right. Just in case you couldn't see my trophy. I love this thing. Shout out to all my family who, uh, you know, I beat last year in the pick and pool. Whoop, whoop. All right, Rich, what's that? I don't even know what a pick and pool is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a decoy. I admire decoys. I have a little collection at home. I carved this wood like last year. Did you? Yeah. What, what did it look like? This, it looked like a twig. <laughs> yeah. No, I no just, one knew what it was. I tried to take up whittling one year and lasted about three months. Cut my fingers up and said, no, I'm not going to anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. All right, we got announcements for you. We have a new impossible shot, okay? And then finally, we've got a question uh, that we're going to transition over to the chairs and hash it out. The question is, is what's frustrating God also frustrating you? Actually, no, reverse that. Is what's frustrating you, does it also frustrate God? Right. Cut, start over, just kidding. All right, here we go. Announcement number one, DVS. Rich, ladies have been leading the charge. Oh, it's been amazing. I, um, I just can't thank the committee enough. Um, looking at what uh, Jenna's producing, these daily uh, teaching segments have just been incredible. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank uh, Jenna, Sarah Reed, Grace Miller, and Terry, um, and there have been others. Uh, there were volunteers. Uh, I think the Musser family helped assemble the craft packets, and that was 33 bags of all the craft items that were distributed. So people have been helping out really since the beginning. Um, and I, it's hard to, it's hard for us to explain to you all what what has gone into this VBS because of all the changes and everything. I'm just. So pleased with the committee and all their work and dedication to getting something together for this week. It's far exceeded my expectations, and uh, it's just been it's just been great. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I know they've been encouraged with the the responses they're getting from mm -hmm. uh, little ones and and families alike. So pray that that what they're learning through the attributes of God this week will stay with them. Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty cool. My kids have uh, enjoyed it a lot. So thank you, everybody. All right. Announcement number two, everyone's asking, aren't they? Yes, everyone. Everybody. What, what's the deal with the new order that came out of the governor's office yesterday, and how's that going to affect Sunday? Well, uh, we would like to let you know that we are going to continue to meet on Sunday in the building, but with the same protocols and safety measures that have been in place for the last few weeks. So everything's essentially going to be the same for us. We'll see if we need to adjust moving forward saw that i have peripheral vision so uh yeah and essentially what happened was that order came out and then in a press conference afterwards uh, the question was asked does that apply to religious institutions and churches and the answer was no it does not so essentially everything that came out yesterday does not change how we gather together and continue to worship the lord on a sunday and so we're going to do that again on sunday and yep. keep going all right absolutely you cover that got it Bam. Rich, you think that mustache is going to help with the impossible shot? I was hoping it would take 15 pounds off, but it, it didn't. Well, guess what? I'm going to do the impossible shot today. Yes! Yeah, you can fail! All right, let's, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Come on, Rich. What's so hard about these impossible shots? Let's go. Yes! Woo! And this one? Piece of cake. And this one's just about the angles. Uh huh. And that little floating ping pong ball? That's mine. Let's call these the um, possible shots. How about that? What do you think, Rich? <laughs> yeah. 
I think I need some notes of encouragement to build up my self-esteem. <laughs> Please keep those cards and letters coming. And, yeah. Uh, that would help me get over this moment of failure. Uh, Rich had no idea I was shooting this. But hey, let me just say it runs in the family. It runs in the blood. I'm going to include a link on the post to my son doing an impossible shot from like four years ago. So Little Chase. Yeah, little DP fan. Anyway... Um, here's my wooden carved duck that I did. I keep it in my office because I'm proud of it. Um, and yes, it looks nothing like a duck. So keep your comments to yourself. All right. You should try the Quesarito. It's a great order from Sheets. And that's all I've got to say about that. Now we're going to go to the table and answer the question. Answer the question. Is what's frustrating you, does it also frustrate God? All right. Join us at the chairs. All right, thanks for uh, sticking with us. You heard the question. Um, we're just gonna kind of hash that out because again, for us going through uh, this COVID season, a lot of these questions come to our mind as just disciple making in our own lives and we just wanna hash them out with you guys too uh, for the benefit of the church. So the question again was, is what's frustrating you also frustrating God? And so I've got a, a list here that's kind of COVID specific and then Rich kind of made a list of some personal or individual things that can be frustrating. So I'll start you off here. Um, my list includes things like mask fatigue. Um, I don't know anyone who loves wearing a mask, and it's frustrating sometimes. Um, the fact that there's no sports, if you know me, you know I enjoy that competition and just, you know, all that goes along with it. And so it's frustrating that there's been no sports to watch or be a part of and you know to a degree down to the children's level um, and then just the changing plans so uh, you know what's from week to week what's going to be different or day to day and that it's just frustrating to not know what to expect and, and that kind of transitions over to one of the things that Rich said was just the unknown so uh, that can be frustrating Rich yeah my list um was was a bit more general than than this time frame that we're in but but i really have appreciated the the exercise of going through the answering that question because mm -hmm. it it was challenging and convicting to my own heart um so yeah my last one was the unknown which we found some similar thoughts on that um the frustration of what not knowing what's next i said maybe in season one episode two or three i said if i could just hear when yeah, things are going to get back to a normal. Well, I don't. I gave up on that a long time ago, but mm -hmm. uh, that was part of the frustration way back in March. It's like just give me a number of weeks, number of months. You know, the unknown has been frustrating. Um, when another thing that's frustrating to me is when my way or my ideas aren't accepted. That that mm -hmm. causes a, some frustration. Um, my agenda or my time that's disrupted causes a sense of frustration. Uh, not being liked by others uh, frustrates me, wondering why or what, what can I do to be liked? Uh, it sounds so shallow saying that, but that's yeah, no, it's one of those true. things. Um, when, I, when I feel like I've been put down or insulted, that kind of frustrates me. And then the first thing I, that, I, that I thought of is when I feel like I've been embarrassed, mm -hmm. um, frustrates me. Um, so all those have a common thread. I think we may get to that common underlying thread as to why those things are the way they are. But those are the things that, without having to spend too much time, just came to me thinking these are, yep. these are things that frustrate me. And when I find myself frustrated, I could probably find them on that list. Yeah, and so I that this question came to my mind because I've had you know a number of things frustrate me in this season, and just trying to think through a, a biblical lens or filter of okay if if something's frustrating me uh, let's say the the change of plans or how to, how a restaurant's gonna work or not knowing what's gonna if that's frustrating to me then i want to ask myself is that frustrating to god and if it's also frustrating to god then i've got good reason to be frustrated by it for example if i see someone being bullied or you know for example i want to I want to step in there because that's a frustrating thing, but that's also something that frustrates God. That's a good thing to get upset about. But not knowing what to expect going into a restaurant or what next week is going to look like with, you know, how protocols are going to be, that, that's a frustrating thing for me too. But if it's not frustrating God, 
then should I be frustrated about it? And if it's frustrating to me and not God, why? Why is that frustrating me? What do you think? We, yeah. Well, for me, every one of these things, without exception, came back to the focus was on me. Yeah. They were all about my my agenda, my time, me being embarrassed, me not being liked, me not knowing the unknown. Yeah. And before long, I realized that's 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 the issue for me, because uh, the frustrations that I experience are often dealt with my own self and 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 my agendas, my mind, my thoughts, and that. That's what the underlying common denominator was with my list, was they all pointed back to me, focusing on me, focusing on my whatever. And uh, yeah. that's where I was convicted to think, you know, I got to put away self. Right. You know, that's a command in Scripture. You know, put away yourself. Right. Um, take up your cross, follow me, let not every man only think of himself, but to the interest of others. That kind of stuff yeah. has just been a constant reminder since we first asked that question. Yeah, and so if... If what's frustrating you and I does not also frustrate God, there might be an underlying idol there, and I think that's what Rich is getting to. Right. And we certainly know that Rich isn't alone. We all uh, wrestle with idolizing ourselves or putting ourselves first um, because that's just part of our sin nature that we've got to, you know, constantly fight against. Um, and so, when you're asking yourself those questions in those moments, sometimes it'll reveal an idol in in your life uh, and. Let's go back to the unknown as an example. If the unknown is frustrating to you, it's because we want to have control right. over a situation. And when we don't have control, that's frustrating. But at the end of the day, God's still sovereign and in control. And control is just like a, an idea that we like to think we have over things that we actually never have any control over anyway. Um, and, and then also... We were, we were talking about the when you're able to let those things go, um, you know, whether it's someone's opinion of you, uh, let's, let's use that as an example, then that, that fear of man that, that kind of can hold us back, when we're able to not let that frustrate us or not let that idol in our life be an idol anymore, then it frees us up to not be frustrated, to not be afraid of man, and to fear God like we're supposed to. So... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, these are just good things, I think, for us to be thinking about as we follow Christ in, in any situation and season, and um, just continue to keep our eyes fixed on Him. Any other okay. thoughts? Well said. All right. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, we're glad to see, you know, many of you out on Sundays or prayer meeting, youth group, and things like that, and uh, we hope to see many of you soon. Adios. Amigos. Adios, amigos. What language is that? That's Spanish. Okay. All right. Brian and Lord, please don't be offended by his <laughs> ignorance of the Spanish language. Hola. I had him trying tacos the other day. Que paso. <laughs>